Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you exactly what happens when you just change your brake pads or when you don't maintain your brakes properly. You don't lubricate the, uh, the caliper slides. You don't lubricate the pad slides. You don't take your brakes apart fully and put them back together and clean them and lubricate them uh, properly. Um, and it's really funny because I've done a couple of brake videos lately because I've done brakes on my CRV and my Civic and uh, yeah, as a YouTuber you want to get more views so I'm thinking to myself I don't like the way I worded my titles so I'm going to look and see how other people word their titles and I look on there for the different brake jobs and I don't know probably 75% of the people are only changing their brake pads I'm like what are you doing only changing your brake pads so like I get it you're saving a bit of money right you only have to replace the pads your rotors look okay but you know what this is the most important system on your car your braking system and your rotors they're old man they got to retire you just don't keep putting these things on and, and like just use them forever they've got a lifespan and they will get thinner and they'll get worn down they'll get rusty they'll have dropouts there'll be grooves in them and that'll trip your ABS system so you don't want it to trip prematurely you don't want it to trip when it's not designed to trip you want it to trip on you know hard braking and bad conditions not on just like average road conditions so it's really important to do your brakes properly um, would you change your oil and leave a dirty filter in would you mow half your grass? Would you cook chicken halfway? Um, it's just, a, I'll refrain from saying dumb, it's not a good idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not a good idea. So I'm gonna show you this. Uh, so a friend of mine says, Rob, my, my wheels are getting hot. And I'm like, what, your wheels are getting hot? And he's like, yeah, my front wheels are smoking hot. I said, well, that's not good. I said, grab some brake parts and bring it over to the shop. And uh, anyway, so he came over yesterday and he's got no 08 Civic. And now I will show you um, what the brakes looked like when he got here. And it's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Anyway, and then we did the brake job. So, so I, uh, I'll do a brake video, another brake video and uh, I'll do a caliper video because we had to replace one of the calipers as well. Okay, so I'll show you um, why it's important to properly do a brake job and uh, what happens when you do an improper brake job, okay? Well, this is what happens when you just replace the pads and you don't lubricate stuff. Um, it's just, it's a bad thing, right? All right, so remember I was telling you about um, lubricating your brakes and these brake pads are supposed to slide back and forth in these slides now these ones you can't even get them to move so they're supposed to be able to move easily and they're not and this is why you have to do a full service on your brakes you have to lubricate the slides here right so that your pads can move and these pads aren't moving and that's an issue and that's why these wheels are really really hot okay so don't just replace your pads all right so this one is your um, caliper mount and it has these slide pins and these slide pins are supposed to go in and out so if you don't lubricate these so if you just replace the brake pads you didn't lubricate these right and then guess what they're stuck because you didn't lubricate it and it won't come out so that means your piston when it's pushing on your brakes is sticking and your wheels gonna get really hot and one of your pads is gonna wear really prematurely and uh, yeah it's gonna cause problems then you might need a new one so we're gonna try to get this one out and see if we can clean it and lubricate it Sorry, right, we got this one out, we uh, pulled it out, we cleaned it off, wire brushed it, sandpapered it, and 
got it back inside after we lubricated it. So this we're going to take some more lube here. This is a uh, brake caliper lube. Um, this new bottle I have is orange. It comes with a brush, which is quite nice. But it doesn't really matter what you use, as long as you use the right stuff. You push this in, okay? A little bit is going to spill out. We're just going to put that back on the inside. And then we're going to squeeze the boot down like this. Pull the boot all the way down. And then push this all the way in. Rotate it around. And the boot will set up against this. So when you move this back and forth, the boot will stick to it. Okay? So this is something that you should do when you're um, doing a brake job. You should take this all the way off. Now, your brake pads sit in this, right? Yeah. So it will push inside here. Now, the problem is that if you leave this dry, if you don't put any lube on it, then the brake pad will stick to these. Okay, it'll stick to these slides and then it won't slide back and forth. So this whole assembly is supposed to slide back and forth and your brake pads are supposed to be able to slide back and forth. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put some lube on these and with the new pads I got these new clips so I put the new I took the old clips out I put the new clips on and we're not going to use a whole lot of this lube but we're going to use you know a little bit and just make sure that it covers all the surfaces And then, after we put this on the car, we'll put our brake pads in, in the right position. So this is really important. You need to change these things. You need to lubricate these slides. Caliper mount. This is your caliper mount, I should say. You need to lubricate your pad slides. These are the pad slides here, where you put your brake pads in. Okay, that's very important. Okay, next. So, your brake rotor, right? This is an old brake rotor. See how rusty this is? Um, so on the edges it seems pretty smooth, right? So that's good, but would you put your brand new brake pads on this old rotor? Um, what happens if you put it on and then your brakes start pulsing? Well then you've got to take the whole thing apart and get new rotors. Now you can turn these down, which means they put them on a lathe, they spin them, and they take all the grooves out of it right and you can do that but it's almost the same price just to buy a new one so just go buy a new one recycle these and don't worry about it okay do yourself a favor the brakes are the most important part of your car the most important system in your car is your braking system so take care of it do a good job do it properly and it could save your life all right all right, so I hope that helps you guys out. I hope that gives you the information that you need. And, uh, you know, take care of yourself, do a good job, and you'll never regret it. All right, it's a little more expensive, but you, the safety is worth the money. All right, anyway, thanks for watching.